Hello, I'm Runo Sisodia. I'm the new chair of the East of England Ambulance Service. I live in Bedford with my wife and my two kids aged 15 and 13 and my background is that I spent a lot of time working both in the city in the private sector and then for the last 13 years in the not-for-profit sector. I'm passionate about public services. The ambulance service and the education system helped me when I was a young man and I've seen the work that the ambulance service does firsthand when I've had to call them out to help my mum, my wife and my son over the last few years. In fact, my son is what you'd call a, a frequent user of the ambulance service. He's um, disabled and has epilepsy and hydrocephalus and I've seen the, the work, the brilliant work you do firsthand with that. And I think that with my experience uh, in the private sector and in the public sector, particularly leading transformation across large and complex organisations, I can make some contribution to your work at East. The role of the chair is to run the board of the organisation. The role of the chief executive and the executive team is to run the organisation itself. So to be clear, I don't actually um, manage anybody and to be clear I don't actually have a single penny of budget to spend but what I do is run the board and that means that it's our job to provide the support and challenge to what the organization is doing as well as some advice and scrutiny. The chair also has a really big role when it comes to things such as strategy and engagement with um, our external partners and with you as our staff and that kind of reflects what I've been doing over the last 10 days. Since I became chair I've had been able to visit a couple of stations. So I went to Stevenage on my first day where I attended some mandatory fire safety training. It's important that everybody does it including the chair. Um, then I also had the pleasure of uh, a tour of the Stevenage estate uh, where I met everybody from the ops teams to the PTS teams to the make ready teams to the workshop teams and I again learned a huge amount there. Uh, this week I've been able to go to Chelmsford where I uh, had a tour of the AOC and met some staff there and also uh, the training centre where I saw the work of the training team live and in action and as ever it's the best way for me to learn things is to get out there and talk to people. I've also been talking a lot to our external stakeholders so I've been meeting with other chairs across the ICBs and um, providers just to put out um, what East needs from them and what we will, be do we will be doing with them in the future. I think about our priorities broken into two big buckets. Firstly, the internal ones. So there's a lot of work that we need to carry on doing when it comes to things like our staff, making sure that we've got enough people, that we're training them properly and that we are treating them properly so that you get your meal breaks, that you actually get, um, you finish your shifts on time, that you get things like the training and the appraisals that you need and uh, deserve to have. There's also a lot of external work that we need to do, so working with our stakeholders and our partners out there in the system to explain to them the impact of things like handover delays and how we can improve service for our patients through projects such as access to the stack which many of you have been involved with. And I think that's the, the key to our success going forward. It's very much a collective endeavor, both internally and externally. And I promise that I will continue to work with you and I'll continue to engage with you and listen to you. And I really, really look forward to meeting more of you in the future and working with you over the coming years.